Have you ever wanted to turn a video of yourself into an animation in a 3D video game? Well now you can with the new feature inside Unity 6 called Video to Motion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a video of yourself into an animation you can play on a video game character inside of Unity. So let's start here by taking a look at the documentation for Video to Motion. So like I said, this is a new AI-powered feature inside of Unity 6.2. And basically, all you have to do is take a video of yourself, and they have some guidelines for the video here. So only one person in the frame, the full body in the frame, and then a stable camera. So I really wanted to try this out with the tutorial series that I'm making with Gary here. So right now, his jump animation, you know, it doesn't look that great. Um, it, it was one of those Kevin Iglesias, uh, you know, free animations that I got off the Unity Asset Store. But I really want to make him look like he's jumping up and reaching for the coin when he's collecting it. So I had this idea to take a video of myself and make it look like he was actually jumping and reaching for the coin. So the first thing we need to do is open up our package manager and add the AI toolkit to our project list. So what you need to do here if you don't see this yet is to install package by name and then type in com.unity.ai.toolkit and click install. That'll install the AI toolkit, and then you also need the assistant here, com.unity.ai.assistant, and then the generators, com.unity.ai.generators. This will uh, give you the AI menu. So once that's installed, you can click on the AI menu here, and then agree and install to Unity AI. Give it a couple minutes to uh, install the package. And then once that is in place, I can click AI, generate, and choose animation. So what this does is it creates a new animation inside of the project. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name that Gary animation. And then what you need to do here is click video to motion. And I recorded uh, this video of myself kind of jumping and leaping, reaching my hand towards uh, the ceiling here. So I'm just gonna drag that video into the project. It needs to be an MP4 file. I just did this with my phone. Um, and so you can see it's very simple, just a quick jump uh, and reach. And all you have to do is drag it into the video reference and click generate. Now this takes a few minutes and once it's finished, you'll see that it brings up the default character uh, inside of Unity here that you can see um, how the animation actually turned out. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and then click play and yeah, sure enough, that looks pretty good. He's jumping, lifting his knee, just like I did when I did the jump. All right, great. So let's go ahead and update Gary's animator to use that new uh, custom anim jump animation that I just created. And let's take a look and see how it looks. All right. Hey, that's not too bad. Now it's not perfect. His hand is colliding with his head a little bit because he's kind of got a big head, but that's okay. Um, this doesn't need to be perfect. This is just for demo purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and click play and take a look in the scene um, to see how this looks. So, okay, he's he's playing the animation, but it's a little behind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tweak this a little bit. Uh, what you can do here is you can actually trim the animation. So the first part of it, I, I kind of want to skip through. I, I want it when the animation plays to for him to immediately kind of start jumping forward. So I'm just going to drag this about a third of the way up and click trim. And so you can see the top animation there, um, he is actually jumping immediately, whereas the bottom one, uh, he's not. So let's go ahead and um, promote this one to the current animation. And then we can go ahead and uh, click play again here and see if that's synced up and lined up a little bit better with the actual jump um, control. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now Gary's got a new jump animation. He's jumping and reaching up for those coins. And there come the bandits to steal them, of course. Uh, but that was basically it. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to use this new feature in Unity 6.2. So thanks for watching. Um, appreciate all your support. And last but not least, here's a preview of the next video in our tutorial series, a parkour style lava cave. So keep an eye out for that and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.